Hello there. Welcome to my sample series. This is where I showcase games for the PlayStation 4 Pro or the Xbox One X running at either 4K or HDR. Today I'm going to be showcasing some ukulele and the impossible layer on the Xbox One X. This is a game that uh, runs using a dynamic resolution, but it mostly runs at 4K, 60 frames a second. And I'm going to showcase some of the levels for this here game. Some of the levels, some of the overworld. This is me going into my completed save. I finally did beat the impossible lair in my daily long play stream. And I wanted to get some um, higher quality footage of this game up before I close the book on this game. And I'm going to do a couple videos today. First one is just going to be showing the game in a pretty vanilla state. And it'll be about a half an hour long. And the second video I'm going to do is going to showcase the game using some of the visual filters I've acquired. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started here. Game drops you off right near, right here in the starting area, near the impossible lair. So you can see, I finally beat it. Yeah. I'm going to jump in and showcase some levels to this game. But, as um, this is a sort of a self-serving video of mine, I am going to take an opportunity to go in and try to collect some of the coins that I missed here. So, that's what I'm going to do. Why not get a little something-something out of this, right? That's my logic, anyway. But yeah, this is a nifty little game. I think it's definitely worth getting, especially if um, especially if you are okay with more challenging levels. Let's um switch to more um useful stuff here for this particular one, and then let's um. Just to make it a little easier on myself. There we go. Of course, I'm only going to be getting half the quills with this, but that's all right. And I can hit the B button right here to locate hidden stuff. As you can see, I I have the first three coins. I barely missed it. I barely got that. These guys like to jump when I jump. So yeah, this is a fairly low-key video that I do. Video series. And this is one of the earlier levels, obviously. We can go ahead and grab that thing and we jump on this guy. Nope. Oh well. Those are a little bit tricky to get because you have to basically jump while you're hovering on them. Now this game is made by a lot of the same people who made the Donkey Kong Country series way back in the day. And as a result, it has a lot of similarities to that. This is, and this is basically a sequel to the first ukulele, which was released uh, almost three years ago now at this point. And all the Switch version was released later that year in 2017. It's a very nice looking game. There's nothing technically um, impressive about it, but it does have a lot of um, detail and attention to detail that is nice. It's a nice game to look at. 
like I said, it's running in pretty much 4K resolution most of the time here on the Xbox One X. Also give you an idea as to the secrets. Oops. Gotta go grab Laylee here. Give you an idea as to the where the secrets are located. Now that's the third one that we already had. I have two more that I've yet to find in this level. I don't realistically expect to find all 200 coins. But if I can get some more, I would like that. As you can see, there's a secret behind there that I can't access yet. Here's a key. go. We can take a look at behind this door here. It's the third coin. This one I've already gotten. I don't believe I get anything for collecting, uh, collecting it again, not even feathers. But that's alright. Some of these levels really love the use of these buzz saws here. Can't get up there. Okay, it wants us to run here. Okay, I got it. Alright, well, I guess we could just do that. Oops, there's another one. Didn't expect it to spawn another one. Those are bells that you use to call Laylee back if he gets hit and flies away. Like that. like we got something back here. It's just a feather, but still, it could have been a coin. Here's a secret area. And there is a coin that I have not collected yet. Cool. And that sound you heard was the snake salesman that sells you stuff based on the coins you collect. Actually, he's more like a paywall guy. You collect those coins to get access to new areas, and he's the one in charge of 
uh, of that process. It's literally called a paywall in this game. You just sort of roll under here. Actually, have a actually have a lot of um, feathers here. It's too bad I only actually get half of them because of the tonics I've used, the things to make the game easier. Of course, you use the tonics to um. Use the feathers to actually buy more tonics, as well as a few other um, air ways of uh, other um, hidden areas to access. I'm hitting this to reveal potential hidden areas. All right. I bet we're going to need this. And there's the bee that you collect at the end of the level. Obviously, since I've already uh, collected that, it's not going to give me anything. But look at this. The fifth and final coin. That's what I'm really here for. See, it cut the um, number of feathers I collected by half. Technically, I didn't really need all those um, tonics. I only needed the sonar one. So maybe uh, when I do another level here, I'll disable those other ones and just have the sonar equipped. But, as you can see, I have all the coins from that. Let's see here. Let's do another level here. Chapter 3. The, the chapters don't seem to have any bearing on the type of area that, the, that they are located in. Remove that and just have that one. Get most of the quills that way. And let's see here. It's going to be the fourth um, one of those coins for me to collect. Okay, so the first coin was... Mm. I'm gonna get up there, but I screwed that one up. Yep, when you fall down like that, you die. I did that just to see um, if there's anything down there. I wasn't sure. But it was okay, because I just reached a checkpoint. Oh. 
There we go. With that, we just added a whole bunch more feathers to our collection. Buddy slam down those doors. Obviously, you can't do the buddy slam without um without having Laylee in tow. Here's where the second coin is hidden. can get the feather, then I will. All this stuff seems a whole lot easier for me now that I finally completed the impossible layer, which is way harder than this, by the way. Okay, that's not how you're supposed to do that. I think I was supposed to hit the um hit that thing with the bomb I was carrying. Oh well. We'll climb up here for a secret. I mean, that's where the third coin is, but as you can see, I've already collected that. Although there is a thing there. Oops, couldn't get Laylee back. Oh well, let's try this again then. It feels like I've been playing this game forever. In reality, I've only been playing it for a little, under, a little over two weeks. Oops. That's right, my invincibility improving thing that I no longer have that equipped. That's why I did that. Alright. Get this checkpoint at least. Obviously I can't use Laylee's sonar ability without it, so I'm gonna have to kill myself and so I can get that back. fourth one, the one that I'm missing, should be next. But we'll have to see. Dagnammit. I forgot to get Laylene. I didn't see that guy to the right of me. Go ahead and grab that thing. Yes, I can. Awesome. 
I use it on that thing. Nope. Oh well. Feels like I should be able to get up there, doesn't it? That stupid thing. And there's where the fourth coin that I'm missing is. Awesome. So it wasn't a total waste of time for me. Alright. And this is where the um, fifth coin is. Obviously, I've collected it already, but still, I'll show it to you anyway. Yay, all five coins. Get a little celebratory dance with some confetti to go along with it. Right, I figured I'd spend some time showing off the overworld now. This is how you activate the um the alternate version of this level. As you can see, it's filled with these guys now. Now let me show you the map. Now I don't have all 62 tonics. I am missing a few of them. In fact, I think I'm missing 11 of them. Yeah. But I got most of them anyway. Got these guys who you pay quills to, and they uh, give you a hint as to where to find a tonic. Uh, when you've already found one through exploration or because you already paid them, they tell you, great, looks like you found this one. You can use bombs here to access areas. Just like you could in the original ukulele, actually. You can also change the state of the overworld by opening and closing doors and flooding valleys and such. To change uh, like a regular level into a flooded level, but also giving you access to different areas within the overworld. Shipwreck Cove, just like in the first game. And if you take a look in here, you'll see an old friend. Remember this guy? The Grand Tome from the first book, from the first game? Got these cannon guys here. Alright. And turning him around is the way you knock down this bridge here to get access to this area from the first part. Face easier access anyway. Uh, 
on a wooden bridge, but this one you'll have to lower first. Alright, well, maybe we can find a tonic here. Look at that. Quill magnet. And I guess that turns you into basically the um, electric shield from Sonic 3, the Knuckles, where you collect um, quills automatically when you're near them. See? I just found one more tonic for you. I think I've already gotten the uh, tonic that was here. You buddy slam this spot. Yep. It's always good to be sure. Let's oh, already got whatever that one was. That's probably for that, to be perfectly honest. Here you'll find the octopus lady in a fishbowl. Unfortunately, this machine, whatever she's built, is not something you can really interact with. It's just sort of an object in the way. see if there's any other interesting areas to show you. I guess I can quickly show you this desert area. You can fast travel around this map. You got some other ideas of some puzzles you can solve. And they change the state of uh, these environments, like this one. I changed it between one state and another for that level. And here's the snake guy. He wants you to donate 99 twit coins to get his life back on track. It's a charity. And that is the remaining number of coins that there are left in the game. And as you can see, with my 37, I am nowhere near that amount. Yes, you can get hit by these guys in the overworld, but you only lose uh, feathers when you do. You can have sort of a hidden forest type area. You got these fan guys here as well. They push you around and make uh, navigating this area a little bit tricky. But they also change the state of levels. Here we got a windy version of the wind way and a non-windy version. Well, folks, that's gonna call it. I'm gonna call it for this video. But come back, and I will have a second video posted with me showcasing some of the visual tonics. Uh, yeah, and I, well, I'll get to uploading this video, and I'll start recording the next one while that is uploading. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you back here for more 4K footage of ukulele and the impossible lair on the Xbox One X.